I'm going to take you through the second part of the video, uh, how to SSH to AWS SageMaker. Um, in the first video, we spoke about how to prepare and we were able to go through step by step how to be able to prepare a lifecycle configuration file. Uh, today, we are going to set up SSH with NGROC. NGROC is a third party reverse proxy that will tunnel our traffic from our local machine to AWS SageMaker instance. Now, you don't have to worry because SSH is encrypted from end to end, and so NGROC will not be able to read our data or our traffic. So the first um, beginning point is you need to have an NGROC account with from which you will get an authentication token that we will use to set up a TCP tunnel. So I have a free account. You can create a free account with NGROC. And when you go to your account, you can be able to get your authentication token, which is under, um, which is in the dashboard under this, uh, on the left panel on your authentication token. So after that, the next step is we go to our AWS SageMaker and while you are at Surfaces, you can search for AWS SageMaker, um, click on it and it will take you to this console. Then you can be able to go under the notebook, notebook instances. And here you will see all the notebooks that instances that you've, um, you've created and if you don't have one i will um you can create one by just going here and clicking on create notebook instance so i have mine running so i will just open jupyter and uh, it will take me to a different window and open jupyter so here it is then i will be able to open a new terminal and um, and we can get started now to create a connection and TCP tunnel. So the first thing that we will do is we will install um, or download ngrok to our instance. So I, I have commands ready for that. So I will just go to my GitHub account and here on ngrok.sh. So it's just simple commands, just, just copy paste because of time and paste here. So the first thing is we will download um, ngrok so download ngrok a zip file then we will unzip the file uh, unzip the file after unzipping the file now um we will create um a directory under sagemaker so under ec2 so we will create a directory another directory under sagemaker so just it's up and running. So under here, we can be able to get, this is where now we get our config file. So if we just go, um, and check our config file. Now, when we go under this config file, uh, right, so here uh, it, it we have my authentication token and then the tunnels, we have a search tunnel and we have um, the TCP tunnel and also under port 22. So this is it. So you can create yours and copy it's here you can just create yours and copy and under ngrok authentication token you can be able to replace with the token that you get while after you've created the account so that is it you can change the user of to this directory and paste it okay it's done so we have ngrok then the next thing is um we will create a script that will be able to start um uh, ngrok tcp tunnel so we create a script under so i have it here it's so just copy the commands so it's go to create a script called start ngrok search 
Um, using vim to head it so here is the script so i will copy the commands for starting they just simple commands uh, simple commands yes so this command will start ngrok after it has started then it will be able to copy the address and the tunnel url that this that's the tunnel url that we are supposed to um connect or SSH using. So it will be able to copy it and it will write it into SSH instructions file. So you, when you've started the, uh, you've started ngrok tunnel, you will go to SSH instructions and you will find your tunnel URL. So save this file. And uh, we need to make it executable and also change the ownership to EC2. Uh, let me copy. Just this to make it faster. Okay, and change the ownership. Great. So now we are left with one last step. That's to be able to copy um, the uh, SSH keys uh, to our EC2 uh, to our AWS SageMaker instance. So we will also create a file that we'll be able to copy. First, we will create the directories in our instance that we need to copy to. So create directories using this command, right? And then come and also make another directory under SageMaker, right? So the next thing now is to create the file a script for copying the SSH keys. So just create them. Great. So it's here. So I'll be able to copy just a few um, shell command, bash commands, and to make it easy. So cool. So and then make this file executable and change the ownership. Right, so the second is to change the ownership of the AC2. Right, so we have everything we need. Now, the first thing is we will copy our SSH keys into AWS SageMaker instance to the directories that we've created. Then we will be able to start our ngrok tunnel. So, uh, copy SSH keys. Right, you can see it's copying to SSH keys. Then the next is start ngrok a search i believe i named it that way it's taking time to respond yes it's here so um i three sorry for that error i know i think we are in the wrong directory let's go back to c2 right so then run it again ah right it's working well so let's wait now it will run, it will start the tunnel and it will be able to give us the tunnel URL that we need uh, to use to SSH. Great, so it's here, it's SSH address, it's here, TCP. So I just copy these and uh, copy it and open my terminal, open my terminal, uh, open my terminal. Great, so just let me paste it here to avoid a lot of things. So now we have the TCP tunnel, and now we will be able to SSH from our local machine to our AWS SageMaker notebook instance. So just use this command SSH key, then uh, copy the uh, port address that's 16261, then 
EC2, uh, EC2 user add and the address it's two dot tcp dot ngrok dot io right so now we get it running so are you sure you want to continue connecting yes okay so great so we have it running so we have been able to ssh into our aws sagemaker notebook instance and it's here so now you can start working you can start interacting uh with aws sagemaker notebook instance locally while you are here so um that is it so we have been able to successfully ssh into our aws sagemaker using ngrok reverse proxy which is a third party reverse proxy so um thank you so much so i will invite you to the next video that we will also talk about how you are able to ssh using bastion solution thank you see you